money analogies. In today's video, I'm going to use an analogy that I've used many times over the years. I found often really benefits people and how they see their food and, and periods of under and over consumption. Because if we had an amount of money we could spend in a, in a week, let's say after our bills we had, for argument's sake, for round numbers sake, £100 spare cash, we wouldn't expect to spend exactly the same every single day. We wouldn't expect to spend just under £15. And if we overspent, if we spent 20 quid, we wouldn't beat ourselves up over it. Think that we'd failed and decide to overspend for a number more days with a view to perhaps getting back to doing that, undoing that at some point in the future. We just accept that there are natural variances in how much we spend on different days. Some days we might spend 20 or 25 quid, and we know on other days that we had to spend a tenner or even a fiver to make that work. And whilst there is an amount of emotion around money, I don't think we'd react to an overspend of cash in any way near the same way as we often do with our food. We wouldn't, again, beat ourselves up and use it as a strange justification for, for further overspend. So maybe that's a great way to see your consumption, whether it's literally the amount of calories that you consume or just in a more vague concept, just accepting that we all have periods where we spend more, probably at the weekend. And we can all have periods where we spend less in order to come under budget and achieve the result that we desire.